Member for Jellybrand. Sorry about that. Thank you, Mr Acting Deputy Speaker. I rise today to pay tribute to the mighty Footscray Bulldogs team, who scored their third consecutive VFL grand final win yesterday, 90 years after Con McCarthy led Footscray to back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back state league flags in 1923 and 1924. Chris Maple's charges made it a three-peat in Footscray's first year back in the VFL competition as a standalone outfit. It should be noted that the Bulldogs left the then VFA after winning the flag in 1924 to join the VFL ranks. 2014 marks their return to the VFL, and what a way to come back by winning the flag. The score at the final siren was Footscray 109, Box Hill Hawks 87. A great result considering Box Hill's dastardly ploy to play Hawthorne uh, Premiership champion Cyril Rioli in the VFL final. Trailing by 18 points early in the final term, the grid of the playing group, led by best on ground Brett Goods and Lin Jong in the midfield, wrestled back control to kick the last six goals of the game. Goods and Jong demonstrate the success of Indigenous Australians and multiculturalism in footy in Melbourne's West, and they are heroes across the football fields of Melbourne's West today. The crowd of 23,816 was an attendance record at the VFL Grand Final at Etihad, and the biggest VFL crowd in over 30 years. I congratulate the President of the Footscray Bulldogs, uh, Peter Gordon, and CEO Simon Garlick for their vision in fielding a standalone VFL side, and particularly for bringing footy back to Witten Oval. I had the pleasure of giving my daughter her first taste of suburban footy at Witten Oval at the, the, at the derby with uh, Williamstown Seagulls earlier this year. I keenly anticipate making it a family tradition in the future.